What the hell happened last night? I went into boiling point with a plan and it backfired in my face. First of all, total outcast movement. If you wouldn't have been in there taking Ultimo Brown Sugar and the nerd Patrick Winky as a joke, you would have seen the tag that Patrick made and you wouldn't have got rolled up Skylar Reed. That's what caused you to lose your titles and it makes me sick because I never wanted to see a nerd hold one of my belts. But that's okay. I've granted you guys a rematch on October 15th at Extreme Halloween, two out of three falls. I hope Kenny Haskell has his ass back here. And I just pray to God that you guys regain your titles. Then, it, it, pirate, Johnny Swashbuckle, my new MBPW champion, the face of my company, because Stacy Shadows and Sunset could not keep it together in there. And then you're going to get mad at me, Stacy Shadows, for something that Sunset did. Now it's backfired at you and James Vince's face. 60 day suspension, and you still threaten me. Don't threaten me because the evil empire will take you and James Vincent out permanently. Then there's Tiny Love, the return of Damon Knight against Zevi Mustafa and Brandon Blaze, which everyone knows that Mustafa and Brandon Blaze would have won the match. They had James Vincent in the corner. Well, maybe that was a problem that James Vincent was in the corner. But the referees get into it, which I didn't mind seeing. And who comes out to call the match and see a double DQ? Charles Allen. Why would you call it a double DQ? Talk about it was out of control. The only two people that were out of control was Jerry Adams and TJ TJ Ace. And Charles Allen, you will pay. You will pay. I mean, I we go to Draven Stryker and the Cowboy, James Hunter, who come out to Penelope's Playhouse. James Hunter talked about how he's number one, he's the best, and this and that, and gets embarrassed, embarrassed by the blue hooded smurf, I call him, Bones. But I really don't have nothing against Bones. Let me point that out right now. I really don't have nothing against Bones. I'm just mad because here's a guy named the Cowboy, James Hunter, who ran his mouth, and you got beat. You got beat. My GM once again gets pushed around by a woman? Really? You know, 
things, it must have been a full moon. Things just weren't right last night at Boiling Point. But let me tell you, at Extreme Halloween, things will go my way.